Open your eyes, open your mind. We are the Wings. Wings. If your hand is holding mine, we can fly through space and time. And together we'll be sure by winners. Wings. With a smile you can enchant. You light up our world. We'll fly the moon they sky together. Open your eyes, open your mind. We are the Wings. It's a magic night. In our last episode, Racing Against Time, Stella and the others tried to break up Brandon's wedding to the Princess of Downland. In the end, it was Amore's love magic that saved the day. The adventure over, everyone returns to Althea for some rest. Right, Bloom is about to kiss someone, but it's not Prince Guy. Wait! <gasps> and who are you? Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm the Big Eared Bear. <gasps> no big surprise there, I'm sure, but I'm so sorry I'm late. Have I missed much of the story? Uh, you can speak? Uh huh, uh huh. What do you say we make room for the big guy, huh? <laughs> now then, I'll tell the story from the top once again. It all began when a great big storm called Hurricane Nimbus unleashed its destructive fury over the whole of Elphia and the Kingdom of Magics. However, the storm was merely the backdrop for a most mysterious event which was about to take place. Something so strange, even the fairies had no idea what to make of it. A huge stone, smooth and mysterious, had appeared out of nowhere. Our heroes, who had just returned from a dangerous mission in Downland, were as yet unaware of its presence. Hey, here they are! All right, yeah! Our friend Kiko, who was very anxious about Bloom's return, had been making a special gift for her. As you can imagine, all eyes were on us pixies, and three of us bonded on the spot. Techna and Digit had met in a chat room a while back, and were overdue for an actual face-to-face -face meeting. <laughs> and a big hug! Tune and Musa discovered a common sense of style. Wow, those headphones are quite, um, unique. Well, it's my hair, actually. And Shadow wasted no time telling Flora all her secrets. What's your boyfriend's name? Tell me. I told you I don't have one. You don't have one, you must have two. Hey, don't be shy, come on. <laughs> Details, is he tall, dark, buff, smart, friendly? <laughs> Welcome to Althea, Pixies. <laughs> wow! <laughs> come on, let's go in and get you guys something to eat. <laughs> K 
Kiko. First time a girl dumps you? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. Maragonda was very happy to see the fairies back at Ophia, safe and sound. However, the following morning, she summoned the wings to her office to discuss a most serious matter. First, I would like to congratulate you on the success of your last mission and express my great relief at your safe return. After a close examination of the evidence brought forth by Layla and our tiny friends, we must conclude that our enemy is much stronger than we initially thought. Watch closely. <gasps> Sixteen years ago, the entire dimension of magic was on the brink of destruction. A dark and evil power had emerged from the void, and this was the result. But it was the three old witches who destroyed Domino, my planet. Isn't that what you told me? Yes, but in truth, they were just carrying out the orders of the shadow creature, who had managed to recruit the help of those three old witches. Today, it has the support of the tricks. I'm afraid history's threatening to repeat itself. Are you saying that the thing that did all this is the same one that kidnapped the Pixies? Considering your description of the monsters, the spells that were cast, and the transformations into a Shadow Phoenix, it could only be Lord Darkar. But why is he back? What could he be trying to achieve? The three witches were stopped by Griffin, Saladin, and myself. The Lord of the Templars dealt with Lord Darkar. He cast him back into the darkness and sent him into a deep slumber. That means Darkar wants revenge! Correct. He also wants all the power in the universe so as to be absolutely invincible. Then why did he kidnap the Pixies? He was trying to find their village, but why? What do they have that's so valuable? What's important now is to stay on guard. His powers are strong enough to affect us no matter where we are. Farragonda is hiding something from us. She's never done that before. So, for now, the Pixies will stay here at Althea. Oh, right! Oh, right! Yes! But I really should get back to the village with Pip. No, under no circumstances. Darkar is capable of spying on our movements. If you ever go back to the Pixies' village, you might as well send him a map. Hmm. And so, Layla, I would like to invite you to stay with us here at Althea and welcome you to our school. Thank you, Headmistress. I am most happy to stay. <gasps> Yay! Hurrah! <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Come on, girls. It's time to go. You have a most challenging school year ahead of you. Gonda seems to be a very strict but fair headmistress. With me by her side, Flora cannot fail. And my Tecna will finish at the top of her class. I know that Bloom would never disappoint me. With, With our, our help, help, success, success is guaranteed. guaranteed. I'm crazy for you. Techno, this sandwich cost me more than a full facial and makeup session. I think Farragonda's keeping some kind of secret from us. Oh my! Bloom, you don't uh, know anything by any chance, do you? No, I, I mean I wasn't expecting any of this. Hmm. You know what? Farragonda didn't tell us what Lord Darkar wanted from the Pixies, but I bet you she's got all the data. Layla, what about you? What do you know about it? Nothing, honest. I don't get it. Why would Farragonda hide something from us? It's as if she doesn't trust us anymore. Just think about what happened to the Pixies. First they're kidnapped, then somehow they're set free. 
And don't forget the tricks. How did they manage to escape from that light rock place? Hmm. What worries me is how did they get so strong? Listen up, everyone! Urgent message from Farragonda! <gasps> oh, what? What is it? Did something happen? Actually, I don't remember. But I did write it down! My dear Winx girls, please put on your heaviest cloaks and meet me by the lake. It's urgent. Farragonda. That's <sighs> it. Look, there she is. This is the reason I sent for you. This strange boulder appeared mysteriously just tonight. And judging by the events of late, I find its presence rather disturbing. Unbelievable. This is neither metal nor mineral. I can't scan it. It's as if it's not even made of matter. Bloom, Stella, Layla, Musa, Flora, and Tecna? Use all of your powers. You must destroy it at all cost. Some days, it doesn't rain, it pours. And whatever we do is wrong. I'm sure you know what I mean. But what's important is not to give up hope. At long last, Hurricane Nimbus took a break. And the Winks, well, they got cracking. Come on, guys, let's go. Why are the fairies going away and leaving us behind? I don't know, Flora didn't tell me. Mm. Here we are. Is everybody ready? You bet. Let's show this thing what a Winx can do. All right. Magic Winx! We girls are the Winx. Energy created. You all transform for nothing. Cause the sun and I will blast it to smithereens. Take that! Yes! I rule. Huh? I can't believe this. Not even a scratch. Flora, let's go. Strike! Water lily whirlpool! Everybody stand back! Take that, you! Stupid piece of junk, what's it made of? Our turn. Winx! Winx. We go far to win. Energy created. Our magic power will defeat the evil. Feet of red. We're the new ones, we're the Winx. Winx. Yeah! Go! It's raining again. That's the last thing we need. <laughs> are we gonna go back inside, or are we just gonna sit here in the rain, staring at that dumb rock? Hurricane Nimbus had turned day into night, but its bolts of lightning could turn night into day. Bloom's not back yet, huh? Nah, she's as stubborn as a jammed PC. I'm sure she's fine, Flora. <sighs> I don't know, it's getting kind of late. Why doesn't she pick up the phone? I mean, I've been trying to reach her all day. What's wrong? Think Bloom's having fun without you? Ugh! 
Uh, wouldn't she have told me if she was going somewhere? I'm just worried something's happened to her, that's all. Uh, yeah. As you probably all know by now, the situation is extremely critical. These must remain secret. You know what to do. I say we all go look for Bloom. She'll come back when she's tired of getting rained on. Besides, she was acting like she didn't want us hanging around anyway. That stone. I wonder where it came from. How did it materialize just like that? And why here, Aunt Althea? There's got to be a reason. Oh no, a blackout. Impossible. Althea's lights are powered by magic. Hmm. I wonder if the lightning has something to do with it. Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh, my ah! ears! <laughs> that was weird. What's that? Mm. Layla, is, is that you? <gasps> oh, my! <gasps> Blue? Um. After the clouds had dispersed, Everything went back to normal. More or less. All right. Now that you've successfully completed your introductory classes, it's time to begin your intermediate level subjects. Boring. I'd rather watch a screensaver than listen to the headmistress. That's when the identity of the mysterious man was finally revealed. It's the paladin who rescued us from the tricks. Let me introduce a leading expert from the famous Malakoy Academy. He'll be joining our faculty at my special request, Professor Avalon. Hmm. Oh. He makes me feel a teeny bit nervous. Is this guy hot or what? I can't keep my eyes off him. Well, I wonder what his specialty is. Professor, would you please destroy that stone? Lapis dure et firme et frangam et cominuam. What you've just witnessed is a technical incantation. Until now, you've been casting spells spontaneously, following your instincts. Those are the skills you perfected last year. This is a whole new level of difficulty. Technical magic? What's different about it? These spells require cognitive analysis and accurate pronunciation. That's the subject of Professor Avalon's class. Uh, a question please, Headmistress. How did you determine which technical spell would effectively destroy the unidentified stone? Easy. I created the stone. <gasps> I wanted to make absolutely sure that you would not underestimate the importance of your new classes. That does it! First they obsess about a stupid stone, and now it's the new professor? I can't believe our fairies have already forgotten about us! What do you say we asked them to come flying with us over the lake? Yay! Everybody, <laughs> class dismissed. But if you have questions, I'm sure Professor Avalon will be happy to answer them. I have one, Professor. Oh, yes, me too. Ask whatever you wish. I am here for you. Professor, may I ask a technical question? Go ahead. What would be the ratio of randomization oh, oh, versus technicality? I'm so sad Bloom didn't even notice me. me. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> what 
does cognitive analysis mean precisely? Let me answer your question. Cognitive analysis. I wonder if this new professor could help me find out more about my birth parents. What was that language you used? It has a fascinating sound. Is your subject very difficult? Professor Avalon, would you have time to help me with some personal research? I'll be in my office this afternoon. Come and see me. I'll be there. But Blue, huh? we were supposed to hang out today. Sorry, I can't. <clears throat> Flora, what? The following evening, there was a party to welcome Professor Avalon. But not everyone was in a party mood. Sky, he's just some professor. What are you worried about? Bloom hasn't returned any of my calls. I just want to see what she's up to. We weren't invited. You're not going to crash the party, are you? No, we'll just watch from a tree. Come on! Sky, look! Beavers! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're disturbing them. Hey, Brandon, <gasps> look! The party's already started. <laughs> we're so happy you're gonna be our professor, and so we wanted to let you know that we're all eager to study and ready to learn. Ah, I thought you'd be impatient. And so I brought with me the complete analysis of your efforts against the stone. You were watching us? I want to see it! Whoa! I stop it right there! Not another word, you two. Last time I checked, this was a party, not a classroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, who's that guy Bloom is talking to? <laughs> oh, I think you hit one of the beavers. Please, Professor, you do plan on showing us your evaluations, right? You worked very hard, Bloom. Come on, I want to see what you wrote about me. Wait, let me explain before you read anything. Oh, come on, Professor. Bloom, you see the I Professor think... yet? I need to know. I think so. I'm not sure it's him, though. Sky, I don't see the beavers anymore. I was almost there? Actually... One more strike would have done it? Well... <gasps> No! No! Oh man, I was just about to see something. I just knew it. If only I hadn't been so tired. And so, all's well that ends well. And the two beavers lived happily ever after. Thank you, Mama. You've been a wonderful audience. I love you, Mama. Thank you. In our next episode of Winx Club, the specialists invite the fairies to a grand opening party at the new Red Fountain School. There, Flora meets the handsome Helia. Will he help them against Darkar's strongest monster yet? <laughs>